pagtitiwala. Hindi relihiyon o pilosopiya ang tinutukoy natin, kundi ang pagtitiwala sa ating abilidad upang umunlad sa buhay. Ang pagtitiwala sa iyong sarili ay pagtitiwala sa iyong kakayahan. Believe that you can do something. When you believe in yourself, you can overcome self-doubt and have the confidence to take action and get things done. Kapag nalulunod ka na sa takot, pag-aalinlangan, paano ka magtatagumpay niyan? Paano ka uunlad? Paano ka magbabago? All of the skills, training, and tools in the world won't change your life if you have self-sabotaging behavior. Kung sulido ka lang na naniniwala sa sarili mo, lahat ay magiging posible. Alam kong mahirap magtiwala sa sarili kung palagi nalang tayong sinusubok ng panahon. We tend to focus on things we can't do. Palagi nalang natin naiisip ang mga kahinaan natin. They are painfully highlighted in our mind. Ang hindi ko alam ay nagiging hindi ko kaya. Patindi ng patindi ang negatibong reaksyon natin. Pero hindi ka nag-iisa. Lahat tayo ay may kahinaan. May kalakasan din. Ganito kasi ang teknik ng matagumpay na tao. For example, may negosyante. Kalakasan niya ang mag-isip ng panibagong ideas. Pero kahinaan niya ang pagbenta ng mga produkto. Ang kahinaang yun ay ipinasa niya sa mga taong marunong mag-sell stock. Ganyan din dapat tayo sa buhay. Ang kahinaan kasi natin ay kalakasan ng iba. Another example is you're great at marketing, but terrible with numbers. Outsource your bookkeeping and hire professional to manage the budget. Ganyan lang kasimple. But you know what? You are the best coach of yourself. So believe in yourself. Your strengths are what make you unique. If you don't believe in yourself, you won't believe someone who is cheering you on from the sidelines. That's why a great small business coach leads their clients to success not by cheerleading, but by developing talent. Siyempre ginawa mo na ang lahat. Yakapin mo naman ang buong pagkatao mo. Mahirap magtiwala sa sarili kung hindi natin kilala o tanggap ang ating sarili. Don't ever try so hard to be someone you're not. Self-confidence comes from embracing who you are and what's important to you. It does not come from being inauthentic or trying to impress people. Gusto mo na lang bang mabuhay para makapagpa-impress? I know you want something else because that's not the life for you. To start believing you can have the life you want, you must dig deep to discover what that will look like for you. You must understand what makes you unique and celebrate those things. Kung gagawin mo lang lahat ng natutunan mo, syempre magbabago din the way na mag-isip ka. Ang kilos mo. Some people might not like the new you. And that's perfectly okay. Here's the good thing. When you're authentically you, the right people will be drawn to you and real friendships will grow even stronger. Lumabas ka sa lungga ng lipunan. Iba kasi ang inasahan ng lipunan sa atin. Gusto nila perfecto tayo sa buhay. May mga beauty products. Pinaparamdam nila sa atin na kulang pang taglay natin kagandahan. May mga mamahaling gamit. Pinamukha nila sa atin na hindi sapat ang mga gamit natin. Step out from the expectations of others. Being authentic feels like a big risk. And you might be afraid of criticism. Remember that your experience of life is about you. And the experience of life is about them. Each one of us has our own unique path. Huwag kang matakot kung pagsabihan ka nila na naiwan ka na ng panahon. Hindi ka naiwan. Hindi ka lang sunod-sunuran. Dahil naniniwala ka lamang sa sarili mo. Your belief is the single most powerful tool you have. You can completely change your life just by changing your beliefs. Ang pagtitiwala ay hindi isang panaginip. Totoo to na kapag naniniwala ka sa sarili mong abilidad, magbabago rin ang takbo ng buhay mo. Kung nilimitahan mo ang sarili mo, ang tawag dito ay fixed mindset. Kung naniniwala ka na magbabago ka, ang tawag dito ay growth mindset. Alin ang pipiliin mo? I know you will grow. I believe in you. Deeply believing that you and your life can change for the better is the driving force behind all of your efforts. You will then be more willing and even excited 
to put in the work required to make those changes. Masarap kasi sa pakiramdam na nakukuha natin ang isang bagay dahil sa pagtitiwala natin. Walang makakapigil sa'yo. Huwag kang magpapakakomportable. Hindi ka uunlad sa ganyang buhay. Kung ang ginagawa mo ngayon ay katulad rin ng dati, dahil ay niyan ang pagiging komportable mo. You're in a pattern and it's getting you exactly nowhere. To make real change in your life, you have to get uncomfortable. You have to step out of your comfort zone and do things differently. You have this whole life to experiment with who you are. It's your life and you don't need to leave it to anyone's expectations but your own. If you want a different life, make it yourself. Halimbawa gusto mong magnegosyo, pero takot ang nangunguna sa iyong isipan. Pero sa oras na simulan mo ng gawin ang negosyo na pinangarap mo, ang takot ay nagiging kasiyahan na. You get to learn so much from trying new things. May mga pagsubok pa rin. Bahagi lang ito ng proseso. Each time you step into something new, there will be fear. Your power lies in walking through that fear and doing the thing anyway. Nagsisimula lang lahat ito sa pagtitiwala sa iyong sarili. Wala ka ng ibang kakampi sa buhay. Sarili mo lang. Yes, people will support you. But they don't do the things for you. You do it.